if you guys remember when we were doing this problem, one thing for, for these types of problems, they gave us the key, what they said was factoring, right? So they said factor the expression and then simplify. So the main important thing, guys, remember when I'm looking at factoring, I want to see, you know, remember first th step of factoring is always look at factoring out um, the GCF, the greatest common factor. So I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of relate this to this problem. Okay, if I was going to factor out um, 3x minus 3, I would factor out a 3, and I'd be left with x minus 1. All right, this problem is very, very similar. The only difference is we're using terms that are a lot more difficult than the 3 and you know 3x minus 3. However, the math is going to be exactly the same. You notice that both of these terms share a sine sine uh, um, sine squared of x, so I can factor out a sine squared of x, and what I'm left out with is going to be a secant squared of x minus 1. You forgot the c. Yes, I did forget the c. Thank you. <laughs> so it would be a secant squared of x. But does everybody see what I did? Okay, so when you're given an opportunity, that's something that you're going to be able to do. Miranda, could you please put that down? Look up here, please. Mm -hmm. um, so then, the next thing I can do is I need to see if I can use my trig identities to simplify this. So remember, it's your secant squared. Uh, I can use that with the trig identity. I believe that equals tangent squared times tangent squared of x. Now the next thing I would look for is to see, all right, well, can I reduce tangent to anything else? And you could write tangent as cosine squared over sine squared, right? No. I'm sorry, sine squared over cosine squared. Well, then I'm just going to be multiplying sine squared times sine squared. That's really not going to simplify my answer anymore. Let me go and prove my point. Here's the answer, right? So you might say, well, let's see if we can cancel it out. So what I'd write is sine squared of x times sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. It's getting bigger again. Yeah, it's kind of getting bigger again, right? We can't cancel them out. So what you'd be left with is sine to the fourth of x over cosine squared of x. Well, that's really not more, this isn't more simple than this, right? So that's why I just leave your answer as sine squared of x times tangent squared of x. Make sense? However, guys, it's important for you to understand, you want to try you know, looking at manipulating these because sometimes you might be able to cancel things out and keep it more simplified. Make sense? Okay. So that's how.